is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air Oh, Eliana, it's such a boring day. Yes, it is. I would love to do something like this. Kids, how they play so good. I would love to play like them. Yes, I like the soccer. Eliana, do you know in Santa Marta there's a lot of soccer players really famous? Yes. I would love maybe going there and introduce everyone where they can play football or where the biggest stars born in Santa Marta. So would you like to come with me or you want to do it by your own? It's better if I go alone. Bad, Bye, Lola. Drinking orange juice out of a champagne glass. Is this what the people of Bel Air living like? Hmm, this might be all right. I whistle for a cab and when it came near, the license plate said fresh and a dice in the mirror. The statue is located opposite to the principal entry of the Stadium Eduardo Santos of Santa Marta, the same place where this export has practiced the world family Valderrama. His sculptor, Almerca Arisa, say the statue will serve to immortalize to the football and to one his better players of all the time. This place is visited by tours and fans from all over Colombia. You can see a lot of happily taking pictures. Welcome to Pescadito! Pescadito is maybe the most famous and traditional neighborhood of the city of Santa Marta. That is located in the north of the city in the commune number three. Pescadito was founded in the, during, during the first decades in the 20th century. Pescadito is known in the national area of Colombia principally for being the neighborhood where there was more the football soccer player Carlos Valderrama. Pescadito is known by his festivity how Pescadito Carnival organized for the foundation for Carpes. I pulled up to the house about seven or eight and I yelled to the cabbie, yo home, smell you later. Looked at my kingdom, I was finally there to sit on my throne as the Prince of Bel Air. Ah, Liana, I think this is the most famous soccer player in the whole history of Colombia. His name is Carlos Alberto Valderrama Palacio. He born in September 2, in 1961, in Santa Marta and is also known by Nel Pibe. He is a former player who played as a midfielder, something like this, I guess. And his distant in blonde hair coupled with his flamboyant technique in the ball. He's one of the Colombian most recognized football players around the globe history. And he represents the national football. He has played in 110 football international soccer times and made him the most capped player in the country history. This is a 22-foot bronze statue from Valderrama created by a Colombian artist named Artis Car Ar Armilca or something really weird. You know how the artists are. And he, is in, uh, he was made in 2006 while the monument is honored normally that people. He's one of the persons that still it's alive. We don't need flowers yet. So in February 2004, Valderrama ended 22 years of career in the Metropolitan Studios in Barranquilla. And I hope this is not the end, because we miss you, baby. Come back to us. <sighs> but Valderrama has only been assistant manager of Atletico Junior. And he's married and has five kids. He is also Colombia, but you know what? It's the only one that fit in FIFA's 125 top list in least been football play list. And he's currently a coach for a football academy. I don't know the name, but you know what? We will always be in your heart, but the drama is your point here. Okay, so I think this is another place. The name is La Castellana. Um, Eliana, I will tell you something. I don't like to play so much. But this is the income neighborhood of Pescadito in Santa Marta. There is a five more summer soccer field from where some of the most important and famous soccer players in Colombia, they were born here. 
and it's a magnificent construction by a group of leaders and a sport team before they they really need the scene. It was February 12, in 1954, when several persons like Francisco Calero, Luis Lopez, Don Enriquez, decide to give the steps of making this beautiful place where all the people can play and feel one of the most famous soccer fields in the world. The group of people wanted to call this place Ascendas. You know why? Because the National Institute was the one who was giving the money in the time of the Gustavo Rojas Pinilla was a president, but in 1957 disappeared. This group of leaders then need some support economically from El Pacifico. And then is how they changed the name as, as Scotland. Scotland, it sounds not so Samarian, but still some people still call it this way. And this place is where all the soccer football players in the world play a lot and I feel somehow I can be one of them. In Lulas, it's taking so long to arrive. Hi. Hi, I'm sorry to arrive late. It was just that the weather was so comfortable. <laughs> How was your weekend? My weekend is so fun. And you did what we say? Yes, I went to Pescadito and to a statue. I went to the statue too as well. Yes. It was really fun. Hmm. Yeah. I give information to people really serious. Well, I did as well too. So one another day we could hang out. What about that? Okay. I'll see you later then. Okay, see you later, Laura. Bye. I pulled up to the house about seven or eight and I yelled to the cabbie, your home, smell you later. Looked at my kingdom, I was finally there to sit on my throne as the Prince of Bel Air.